Hey guys, so it's Monday, the first day of the week, a new fresh start to the week. So I just want to let you guys know that as this is a weekly reading vlog where I let you guys know what I am currently reading and what I do get up to reading wise and anything else really like working wise and activity wise just so that you can dip your toes into my life and what I get done during the week. So this week is going to be really busy like work related but one of those things is my fault actually. I could have totally had a day off on Wednesday but then in the end I was just like yeah just put me on to work at 8 for what have I done I've just dropped myself in it now. Oh well it's fine at least I'll have like half of the day to myself and also I've got rehearsal that evening anyway so it's not like I could have done anything anyway so this week is going to be really busy so I'll just give you a quick lowdown on the schedule for this week so today I've worked a long day which is 8am to 8pm it's a 12 hour shift and then tomorrow I'm in charge and again it's another 12 hour shift so 8am to 8pm and then Wednesday I'm working at 8 to 4pm and then I've got rehearsal in the evening so I'm going to assess how I am because if I am feeling very tired I'm going to go home and have a quick little nap before the rehearsal if if I'm feeling okay and they're a bit short I might end up helping them out which I did last week and then Thursday I'm working a 2 to 10 shift however at some point before that shift I need to go into the post office to renew my passport and also to renew my driver's license because they both run out near enough at this point my passport runs out in July <laughs> and then my driving license needs a new photo and that has expired as well like June or July so I need to get those done. I'm going to try and see if I can do them at the same time. If I have to wait for my passport that's fine I just definitely need to get some photos done and then I'm off Friday but I think I've got the plumber guy coming around to literally strip all of the taps and then replace them all with new taps. So I'm not sure if that means that I won't have water for a little bit, I don't really know. Like let's see how quick he works. If so then I'll just like pour as many jugs of water as I possibly can just so I can make sure that I'm hydrated and that sort of thing. So that's Friday and then I'm working the weekend because it's my weekend on and I'm in charge on the Sunday. So yes it's going to be a very busy week. I don't really know if and when I'm going to see Ben. Hopefully if Tim finishes the taps, I don't know when um, he's coming around yet, like he hasn't really set a time. So hopefully if he comes, I don't know, lunchtime and finishes like a few hours later, I might be able to see Ben in the evening sort of thing. But I did say, I was like, it's really tough and it's going to be really tough for me to go and see him. But that probably is going to be like the only chance, which is going to be really sad. However, next week I am on annual leave and hopefully we can go to Wales to see his relative and maybe see some dolphins. He did say there's a possibility of dolphins along the coast. That would be nice. I did tell him the other day, I was like, please arrange and sort this. Don't leave it to last minute. Cause it would be nice to go away. I don't really want to be stuck in the flat for a week. Obviously worst comes to worst. It's not the end of the world. Um, I'll just be off work for a week, which is nice, but you know, I want to do something nice with my holiday. So hopefully we can. It might happen that Ben has to work all of that week. We don't know, but hopefully he can get it off. So yeah, it's going to be a very busy week, but like I say, I finished today's shift and I'm feeling really knackered already, but I feel that's, that's because of the weather as well. So I'm hoping that tomorrow is, is going to go really good. So what I'm going to do now is because I've got myself a cup of tea which I've nearly finished actually because I let it cool down quite a lot. I think I'm going to get some more reading done. But I don't know if I want to go and lay in bed. I'm, I'm going to set an alarm 7 o'clock to just wake up and jump straight in the shower before work. Yeah that would be good to get that done because I need to jump in the shower before work. I know that's going to be a very hot night. I've opened all the windows and it's still really stuffy in this flat. There's no wind outside so that's another annoying thing so yeah i just I just want to relax for the evening and de-stress so i was thinking when i was at work i was like i could so have a bath but now i'm just like i really can't bother before bed and i'd rather like be all fresh and showered in the morning where my hair will literally dry within 10 minutes because it's just that hot hopefully i should be getting some mail tomorrow my nan informed me that I have a book package arrive at hers for a publisher. So it's obviously a book that I haven't requested so it's an unsolicited book so that's exciting 
to find out what that is but I'll let you guys know tomorrow because after work when I finish at 8 I'm going to go over to my nan's to collect all of my food essentials I've got like a massive shopping list for my nan to get me some bits while she's shopping tomorrow so I'm going to go to hers after work and collect all of those bits I will come back and I'll let you guys know and unpackage that book for you guys because I know you guys want to see it it's just as exciting as I want to so I'm hoping that tomorrow's shift goes really well considering that I'm running the shift I'm hoping that it does anyway and I'm hoping it's a nice easy shift just want to get things done hopefully if it does run really smoothly then I can just go about the house and just sort of like help out wherever I can because I find out that when I am doing something time goes really fast so that's pretty much what I'm hoping that's going to happen tomorrow. Bank holiday was today so there was no post today but how did my nan get that package then unless she got it on Saturday I don't really know but she just said that she had a she has a package here for me so it could have come Saturday. I might get some mail tomorrow I don't really know I know that I'm waiting on a few bits like I've said the Dolphin Diaries books and I'm waiting for some BTS stuff to come like a couple of them are bookmarks a couple of them are music albums so who knows it's a mystery some of those might come tomorrow as well so that'll be a nice surprise but I'll unbox all of those things for you tomorrow when I vlog for you guys so it's a really rambly sort of section but it always is for like the first clip because I just like to let you guys know how the week is going to pan ahead so I think reading isn't going to be very good this week I just want to be really honest with you there I don't really want to say it's going to be amazing and then it turn out there's rubbish because I end up feeling let down I know that I'm busy and I'm in charge tomorrow so reading is going to be pants so really the only reading I'm going to be able to get done is when I'm home from work so the best thing that I can do now is just settle down and get some reading done I don't really want to turn on Netflix to watch anything because I am feeling that tired I just want to settle down so I just want to lay in bed and just sort of let sleep take me away when it does anyway i'm gonna leave you guys with this section for monday i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow evening is going to be where i can share with you some things hopefully and let you know if i manage to get any reading done because you never know what happens in the world but i will speak to you guys tomorrow hey guys so today is tuesday and as promised here in the evening after i've come home from work i'm here to vlog for you guys so today i had a long day i was meant to be in charge actually i was PIC person in charge however um there was a got talent show um for the service users so i got asked to go along to that so i left my colleague shannon in charge for the day whilst i drove all the way um for a, a long drive um to the talent show and it was really really fun actually and then we got home there was about 20 minutes left so i quickly grabbed something to eat because they didn't really have like main meals there so i just grabbed myself a cheese and onion um, like pasty thing from the fridge and I had that whilst I was doing my observation notes. The day went really really quickly actually and yeah I'm, I'm really sort of like happy with how the day went it was really good um, but that's all I can say on that. So moving from that I went to my nan's to collect my essentials for the week like my milk and my daily things that I need and so I've filled my fridge I have filled my covers again for the week um, so I'm really sort of happy about that and then my nan said that I had a couple of packages that were waiting at hers so when I went to hers I was there and, and one of them was like huge I'm not even joking like massively huge but then I saw like the front of it and I was like I know what this is and I'm so freaking excited for it like <laughs> and then a, another package so both packages that were at my nan's were like from publishers because obviously I'm not purchasing books towards my nan's house anymore. I've got a couple of other packages that um, were on the floor because the postman popped them in my post box just this very day. So I've got some other packages to unbox for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the unpackages. So I'm very excited. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start with this this green one right here and to be honest because I'm just literally picking them up I don't really have a clue which like what they are inside so it's a mystery for me I have a couple of dogs inside this one. Oh, I feel like I know what this one is yay 
Oh, it's awesome. Oh, I've got my little, my little receipt there. I'll keep hold of that. But this book is Summer at Hope Meadows by Lucy Daniels. So this is the book that I was talking about. That is Mandy Hope when she's a lot older. Um, and so I got it used on Amazon for not very much. And I'm very excited that I have this physical copy. Um, I can't wait to give it a read, but I really kind of want to read the animal art books first again, or rather reread, um, and then <laughs> go on to this at some point. But yeah, I'm really, really excited that I have this. Um, so this was a um, purchase that I made. Why the hell has somebody whole punched this book? That is that's slightly weird. However, it has a sort of weird effect to the books. I'm very happy that I have this book. So I'm going to move on to another package. So I'm going to pick this next one up. Again, it feels like it's another book. I've got a few things coming either that I've got. This will come handy to reuse again actually. I might keep hold of that. Ooh, okay. That's really cool. There's like two in this. So I've got books three and four in the Dolphin Diary series that came from eBay. So book number three is Riding the Storm by Lucy Daniels, so that's that one. And then book number four is Under the Stars, so three and four. So that's really exciting. I'm gonna pick up another one now. I'm gonna pick up this, the gray one, which I'm feeling like it's another Dolphin Diaries book that's in the series, but let's find out. Because I could be wrong, but it feels book shaped and it is quite narrow feeling. So it's a little, little look to see what this is. And I am right, it is another Dolphin Diaries book. So this book is number six, and this is Racing the Wind. So that's that one. What is that? Is that a bit of sticky tape? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've got the book. So that's this one. Race in the Wind, number six. So, so far, I've got three, four, and six. So I'm getting closer to the completed collection. Let me go by grabbing this. What is this? This feels weird. Okay. I have no idea. I'm honest. It looks BTS related, but I'm still going to share this with you guys because I'm so excited. What is this? Okay. Hey. Oh, this is cool. Oh, oh that's cool. Ow, I feel like there's something in here. Oh, wow. Oh, ah. I'm really. Oh, there he is. Is that actually. Oh, wow. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so this is the BTS album Wings. This is wings right here. So inside we've got photos. I'm just gonna show you like the gorgeousness of these photos. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, guys. How can you not find that interesting? Just So this is Jimin. I've got some others there. That's really cool. Anyway, and the CD album is at the back. I'm just going to inspect the quality of the album. So as you can see, very, very good condition. So that's cool, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna pop that back in there to put in my car. I've also had another BTS album arrive um, and that was Love Yourself Her. And that is already in my car, so I'm sorry I didn't share that with you. I just got way too excited because there's mic drop and DNA on it and I love those songs so much. So, yes, I'm really excited about this one to listen to it. You can see there's loads of tracks in the back. So, I'm a very happy person. So, that's going straight in my car tomorrow. And what's come with it, guys, is a photo card of Jimin. Look at that, it's a photo card. And on the back, it's like signed and stuff. Like, that's really cool. And then I've got two little mini photo cards. 
um, as you can see he's obviously got his awesome hair colour style from me and I got a lovely little note from them saying that I hope the picture of Jimmy and the album rhymes really say so that's really cool so I'm going to put that in my diary because that's just cute a loot okay so I'm going to go for this one as this I believe is the last package that came in my official post oh cool oh cool so uh, this is books 7 and 8 in the Dolphin Diary series so we have number 7 which is Leaving the Shallows that's this one here, this one looks in very good condition actually, the spine isn't broken at all so that's really good, I'm really happy with that and then number 8 is Beyond the Sunrise um, and it's not in too bad condition actually so that's really good so all in all guys I have got 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8 so I literally just need number 5 and then I'll be complete in that Right, so now I'm going to go into the package that arrived at my nans. So let's unbox this beauty. I don't know what this is. But it just says it's from Pam McMullen, so let's have a look. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, this is exciting. This is very exciting. So, this is. The Queens of Ben Burn by Kenda Blake. I believe this is in the Three Dark Crowns series. It's very, very thin. So this came out at the very beginning of the month, so it's now released now. So inside it has two new stories from the Three Dark Crowns universe. Um, so The Young Queens is a story of the Three Queens' earliest childhood before they were forcibly separated. Very, really, very really looking forward to looking um, and giving this book a read. So yeah, very massive thank you to Nina for sending this to me. Um, you are freaking awesome. So I look forward to reading this. Oh, and there's also the Oracle Queen. Um, so these are the two stories that are in it. So very excited. So thank you very much for sending that to me for review. I look forward to giving that to you a read and review. Now I'm going to go into the last package which I'm the most excited for because I can see about what this book is going to be. But it's massive. Look how big this is. I bet my nan was like, what the hell is this? So let's give it an open. And I love the things that publish do so I'm obviously going to end up ruining their beautiful job because look at the box look at this box it's like a present it's really funky I'm going to have to open it I'm so excited so excited let's open the box let's go have a look at what's inside guys got some confetti got some confetti it's a Rubik's Cube. Eve of Man. Look at that, guys. That is really cool. So it's like a. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. That's a really cool publishing quirk. And then here we go. It's a little bit of paper. So Giovanna and Tom Fletcher have. Co they've co written a book together. They've created this baby, Tom Fletcher, who's a member of McFly, and they've written like the dinosaur that pooped. Christmas or, or, or you know Dinosaurus um, and Giovanna she's written loads of books um, like Billy and Me she's written loads of chiclet novels so anyway so this couple have got together to write this young adult book and on here it says how do you choose between love and the future of the human race I'm so excited we're so excited for you to read Eve of Man, the first book in our new trilogy. We originally came up with the concept five years ago when a friend commented that everyone in her NCT group had delivered boys and this sparked off a whole what if conversation, what if no girls were born, a seed was planted and we couldn't shake off the idea. And there's also a big moment for us because Eve of Man is the first book that we've written together and we've learned that we work in very different ways. Writing as a duo with each telling the story of a different character has meant that there have been disagreements along the way but nothing that has 
caused an ongoing marital rift. Not yet, but this is a trilogy, so there's still time. Jokes aside, we've had so much fun writing this book and we hope that you enjoy discovering the world we've created in Eve of Man. Now on to book two. And here is the glorious book. And it's a hard bag, guys. Look at this. Oh my god, look at it. It is absolutely gorgeous, Giovanna and Tom. Oh my god, Eve of Man. How do you choose between love and the future of the human race? Look at the inside, guys. Look at the inside. So pretty. Oh my god, guys. Whoa. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy about this. I was right. The dinosaur that pooped Christmas. And the Christmasaurus. Yeah, I was right. I was trying to remember the exact name of the books. I'm so excited. Guys, I'm going to have to start this book like really soon. Like, really, really soon. I might have to start it after I finish. Um, I can't read. I have to. I have to. So I believe this comes out June sometime. So it's really, really cool. I've got this. I don't actually have like a press release that came with it to say like the date that it comes out. But yeah, look at this. This is really cool. So I'm so happy. So that's a massive thank you to Penguin. They are like freaking awesome. Oh, I'm so excited because. This was a book that I was very, very highly anticipating this year, and I'm so glad that they sent. I'm so, glad. I'm so happy, like, I'm so honoured. Thank you, thank you again to Penguin. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm like really overwhelmed. Oh, God. So, yeah, so it's been a really, really, ah, it's been a really, really good book mail today. Got all of these. Some that I've purchased, some that I've received for review, and then the BTS album that has come. So I'm really happy about all of that. Guys, I'm so excited. I can't believe how excited I am about all of this. So, guys, um, it's quite late actually. It's coming up near half nine. So I'm thinking of settling into my bedroom soon um, and just getting some reading done and probably reading just so that I can start Eve Man because I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm so ready for that book. Um, so thank you guys for watching this part of the vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and um, yeah, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow to update you on anything new I've got. Work until four and then I've got my rehearsal in the evening. I think straight after my rehearsal I'm just going to go home and get some sleep because I need to get up Thursday to go to the post office to sort my passport and my driver's license or at least my driver's license and go from there really. Then I've got work again so yes it's going to be a busy, busy week but I've already prepped for that anyway. So this section has ended up being really long because I've unboxed some things for you guys. Um, so I hope you guys like Tuesday's part of the vlog. I will see you guys soon. I'm going to go and read some more of my books um, and then I will speak to you guys hopefully tomorrow to update you on any additional reading. Um, but to be honest, I am extremely tired. I've got to get up again around 7ish tomorrow morning. So if I drop asleep and don't do any reading, that could be a possibility. I won't really be disappointed in myself because I need to sort of look after myself. So that's all for Tuesday. So I will see you guys Wednesday, hopefully. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday evening and I have not long been home from my rehearsal. We finished around nine and so I managed to get a little bit of reading done today whilst I was at work. So I'm now on page 403 of the Smoke Thebes. I literally, I'm not joking, I have like, well, I've got like two sections left, but to be honest, it's like 60 something pages, so I could have that as just one section if I'm honest. And I'm very tempted to actually read it tonight, just so that I can get a book finished for May, because I've just started a few books this month and then just haven't finished any, so 
I just want to get at least one finished for the month um, and then I'll move on to the kissing booze. Um, so work today, it was okay, I would say. I only worked eight till four. I have been so, so shattered today. Like so shattered. It's been, yeah. I've been really on edge actually. So when I was at work, there were like a couple of points where I could feel myself just sort of snapping and afterwards I was just like, calm down, Katie. Um, so yeah, there was that. But yes, I managed to read a section of Smoke Thieves. Um, and then I had my rehearsal this evening. Oh yeah, I mess messaged Ben because we had a team leader position at work and there were four candidates, obviously me being one of them. And uh, we found out today who got it. So I knew I wouldn't get it because my confidence has always been an issue. And when I was given feedback, that was the thing that was mentioned. So, um, but they did say that I have grown in confidence since, but I just need obviously a touch more assertiveness. So, which I totally agree with. Um, and also the person that got it is a male member of the staff so for one we need more males where we work it's very female oriented um, and also um, because he's a male and this is not being like stereotypical at all because a lot of males at the work they have quite an assertive command so um, they're quite headstrong and quite good at getting into the job and telling people what to do whereas the females like we're a bit more you know we don't want to upset people and that is well it's still kind of an issue for me like I can be quite genteel but I've been a lot more strict than I used to be so to be honest I just took this whole experience um, as a whole, as a way to improve, so I know for next time the questions that will be asked, so I will know the areas that I need to improve in. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit upset after work obviously, like when I drove home I kind of like shed a tear but not like bawled my eyes out, which you know, it's better than I used to be actually because I'm normally quite weak in those sort of circumstances and then I didn't cry at work and I was just like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, like whatever happens, happens. Um, so I think I was quite good in that respect um, and yeah so I went home and because I'm kind of like quite tired I was still like all over the place as well so there was that um, so yeah it's just been a very very odd day if I'm honest um, but the rehearsal went really good so I sang my song, I sang um, A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. First time I sang it, I was actually quite nervous, but second time I sang it around, I was a lot better. So I just need to learn the words properly for that and then perform it better. And then it will all be good. So I won't have another rehearsal until after next week because I'm on annual leave next week. And hopefully I'm going to be doing something on that annual leave, I just need to try and speak to Ben and just be like, are we actually going to go on holiday? Because he says he will, but this is Ben and he's a man. Sorry to all of you men watching, but it's a male thing, I swear, because I have it. Well, I have seen it in a lot of males. Anyway, so I had a little word with Ben and he sort of like spoke to me about it um, and that sort of thing. Um, and then I had a little mini medical concern, which luckily because Ben is a nurse, I sort of asked him about it. Now he's telling me I need to go to the doctor about it tomorrow, but I'm just sort of thinking like, well, if this medical issue happens again, then I definitely will. So I think I'm just going to leave it until I experience it again, as in like recently again, as in like tomorrow or the next day sort of thing. So if it's happened in a sort of period, then yeah, I will definitely definitely do something so just, just wanted to check the time because when it gets to 11 o'clock because I live in a block of flats that 11 to 7 rule unfortunately is applied so I just want to be quite respectful to my neighbours who are just across 
through this wall. Yeah, so up and downy sort of day, but you know, I was quite headstrong. Um, ben went off to his evening shift. He's working 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Then I went off to my rehearsal and I came back. Oh my god, guys, just before I left my rehearsal, my bin, because it's bin day tomorrow, so I was just getting the bins out. So like the main bin bag from my big bin in the kitchen. And I had bin juice, so the bin bag was leaking. I don't know how I managed to get a hole. Maybe because it was quite heavy this week and it's a cheap bin bag, but so I had bin juice for the first time in this flat and I was just like, oh, this is disgusting. So I had to put the bin bag in another bin bag and tie it up and then I had to clean the bin. So I just put like washing up liquid inside it and then rinsed it around and then poured it out and then I just tipped it upside down to drain it and then I went off to my rehearsal, came back and the majority of it was drained and I just had to wipe the inside of the bin, it was disgusting, it was so gross. So hopefully no more bin juice, <laughs> but I've got a new bin liner anyway, so that's that. So that was, that was fun, so when I came home from rehearsal I just settled down, got into my pyjamas and then I sorted the bin and yeah all the recycling I took before I went to my rehearsal as well I had a lot of recycling because I sorted out a lot of my personal files so anything that doesn't need shredding I literally just put into the recycling um, and I had a lot to carry down from the flat so um, so yeah but you know it feels good to recycle there wasn't any mail today unfortunately so I have nothing to share with you but I am preparing to do my June TBR. Um, obviously I've got one more day left, um, but I'm literally preparing my June TBR. And then if I finish this book, either this evening or tomorrow morning or something, then that will be like my one book wrap up. Put me, so that'll be quite good. I need to upload because it is ready to go. It's literally on YouTube waiting. But I need to put the thumbnail, add the details and then put the video live. I keep trying to find a moment to do it so I might actually do it tomorrow. So the weekly vlog from last week will go up tomorrow which is roughly around the same time that I did last week's vlog. So um, so the vlog before last week so it's not too bad. Anyway so that's all that's really happened today. I need to get some sleep so I'm probably actually not going to read if I'm honest. I can feel myself like my eyes are so tired and I'm really tired here. I'm so mentally exhausted I need to sleep. So I was just looking at my driver's license because I had a letter come in saying that I need to renew my driver's license and get a new photo and also my passport I'm pretty sure my passport runs at the same time like in July sometime so if that's the case I'm not in a rush tomorrow to get it done I was gonna get it done tomorrow because it's the only time I've got to get it done but to be honest, if it doesn't need renewing until July, you know, I, I can easily get it done in a week or so's time. So there's no rush with that. So, yes, I mean, obviously it's quite good to get it done and out of the way. But to be honest, when I changed my driver's license last time I moved, just to change the address on it, it was done really quickly. I, I cut my cut like my driver's license up sent it off to them and they sent me the new one like pretty much the day after so it should be pretty quick to deal with obviously at the end of the day it's going to be id um so yeah i'm hoping actually i'm not entirely sure Maybe I don't get like pulled over or anything, but like, can I see your license? And I'm like, well, actually, I don't have it. It's been currently being sent off right now. Like, hopefully, nothing like that happens because that would just be embarrassing. So yeah, I just have to be careful. But then I am pretty much normally always careful. It's with the other drivers, guys. Seriously, right? This cyclist this evening. It's dark. There's nothing reflective 
on their clothes, on their bike. I could have hit them. They All they did at the last minute was shine a light in their hand, like behind them. I was just like, you fucking crazy. Like, it's a 60 mile road and you're not wearing anything reflective. I was so tempted to beat my horn, but I was too busy putting my foot on the brake. Like, it really pissed me off. So that, like, really, really irked me. I'm probably gonna doze off, if honest. I need to get some proper sleep. I've got a spot coming here. You can probably see it. No sleep, but it's right on the bloody lip. So I need to have a shower when I wake up tomorrow. I don't start working till 2 p.m. tomorrow, but still, I need some sort of lay-in to just resuscitate. Anyway, positive thoughts guys, positive thoughts. I'm gonna leave this clip now for you guys. Um, it's quite a long one for Wednesday. So I have a funny feeling that this week's vlog is going to be really long for you guys, but I do apologize in a way, but I also kind of don't really want to apologize because if you guys wanna watch what I get up to, and if you wanna hear me talk, and that's that but yeah so I'm so so tired why did I agree to work today I could have had a lay-in today and then I could have gone to my rehearsal <sighs> I don't know I don't know I don't know why I don't know why I did that what's wrong with me what is wrong with me right now what's wrong with me is I'm so tired I'm just falling asleep right now on camera and my eyes closed just feels really good really really good so I've near enough kind of sorted out my June TBR um, I just need to go downstairs into the garage tomorrow and select like two more books of my own books um, because I'm gonna near enough do what I'm doing now where I'm reading two books at once one book that is my own one book that's a review book as soon as I finished a review book, another review book will replace it. As soon as I finish my own book, my own book will replace it, so that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to try and do it that way. Um, and I can also have a choice as well because there's quite a lot of contemporaries in review that I've got. Um, so as my own book, so I can either choose contemporary again or I can pick a different genre sort of thing. So yeah, it's all going to be really exciting. So I will announce to you guys the books that I am going to be selecting for my June TBR um, but very very briefly because obviously I will do a proper video on it which you would see before this vlog so I'll do it as a brief like sort of recap hopefully I can get some mail in tomorrow as well so I can unbox that for you guys too as a little bit of excitement but for now I'm going to say goodbye from Wednesday and I will see you guys tomorrow letting you know all the details of what's going to happen especially if I wake up all refreshed and I know the plan of what I'm going to do for the day so I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys so today is Thursday and it's like half 11 in the morning I've attempted to try and have a bit of a lie in but for some reason I just can't today and things keep waking me up I had a cold call that called me the postman woke me by those and baggages so yeah and then I just can't settle to fully sleep I can lay down and shut my eyes but my brain is still really really exhausted like my brain just wants to shut down for a bit so I'm still really tired my eyes are itchy I'm in need of a shower anyway so I've just woke up I don't sell back till two today um, and I've already made a decision um, not to go to the doctors today um, until this medical issue happens again um, from yesterday it happened once when I came home from work um, so I'm just seeing if that happens again then I will definitely go to the doctors about it um, and also I'm not going to be going to the post office today because I'm just so mentally exhausted um, I'm so mentally drained and yet I'm going to work today to work too today I just need a full day off like and then I had a message 
from the plumber that's going to be doing my taps and it's like he's going to be coming between 8.30 and 9 tomorrow morning and I finish at 10pm this evening so I'm going to have to get everything like ready and tidy tonight in order for me to get up early tomorrow and I'm already exhausted for tomorrow so I don't know how it's going to go anyway so I've got a package here that came so I will quickly unbox this for you I'll try and do it with one hand because I'm still sat on my bed BTS album. It's like one of their first ones, I believe. Are you late too? Oh, are you late too? And we've got some stones that are on the back, so that's quite cool. Let's have a little looky on the inside. Oh, there's the album. So that'll be cool to listen to. So this is a poster. Oh my god, I have a BTS poster. So hanging this up, guys. I can't open it. I find it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, look at this poster. Oh my god. That's really cool. I'm definitely hanging that up because I need a BTS poster in my flat. And then, as always, a little photo book. That's really cool. That's pretty awesome and... Oh, just... Yes, just the gorgeousness. So yes, I am definitely looking forward to listening to this one. Like I say, just slowly collecting all of these albums. Um, and this one I got literally for like a couple of quid actually. Um, I think it was Music Magpie on eBay was selling it. And everyone else was selling it for like 15 quid or 13 quid or something. And I was just like, I'm so good at this one. And the condition is really good actually. So, yes. I am very... Oh, oh, are you late to... Oh, that's pretty cool. In the light, I don't know if you can kind of see. It's really hard to see, but it's like indented there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've been listening to loads of BTS in my car to work, so I am really happy with that. I'm going to have to get some contact strips so that I can pop that up. So guys, I am... Um, going to go have a shower soon hopefully that will help, help me up and then I'll get some food and then I'll go downstairs to select two books from my garage to go towards my TBR for June um, and then I'll probably get some reading done because I just went straight to bed last night I collapsed straight away and then I woke up at like 8 o'clock so I didn't even wake up at all during the middle of the night I don't think I literally just slept like a log um, and my nose is running like mad because I'm tired um, you can see that I'm really tired and exhausted so like I say hopefully a shower will wake me up that would be really good um, so yeah I'm going to go now because I look and feel very dirty um, and I will see you guys soon once I've selected my TBR Hey guys, so it's still Thursday. I did tell you that I had a shift that was 2 till 10. Unfortunately, I had a little medical issue, which again happened the day before, which I told you guys about. It happened again. I literally was full of panic and I burst into tears. I had to phone into work to explain the situation. They luckily gave me the day of um, as a sick day, whether I'll get it as sick pay, I'm not sure. If not, then I'm going to have to work an extra shift sometime in June to make up for it, which I'm fine with. That's just something that's happened and we'll have to deal with. So um, I had the surgery call me back and um, the doctor actually really wasn't 
good in my opinion. I was obviously overcome with panic and worry and I needed some reassurance and the way that they spoke to me it really was not empathetic at all and I'm in two minds actually whether to complain about this doctor because the way they were wording it was just like there's worse off people than me and I don't need anybody to go see me and that don't worry about the issue it will just go on its own rather than I've had other people who are like nurses and they're in the NHS that have said they will offer you some sort of cream this on-call doctor didn't offer me any of that so I just felt really like they didn't care about me so I demanded to have an appointment so luckily I've managed to get one tomorrow morning so whilst Tim comes to fix the taps and like replace all the taps. My nan's going to be in the flat. So when it comes to about half past nine, my nan's going to come over and just sort of like hold the fort and be here whilst Tim's here. And then I'm going to go off to my doctor's appointment near towards 10 and just get myself assessed. Um, so yeah, but I've got some germaline just in case. It is what it is. I'm obviously not going to reveal what it is because it's like a little medical issue. So yeah, that was just like a little bit of concern really. Um, so I've just been all over the place. Like my hair's been all over the place. Like I run my nan as soon as I run work and I just burst into tears and my nan came over straight away. She was really good actually. She really looked after me and sort of eased me a little bit and she was here whilst I was having the phone call and then I went over to my nan's to help fix her laptop um, and I sorted that so I've not long been home actually and I've literally just filmed my June TBR video so I'll quickly just flash you the books that I have selected as well so two different piles one pile are review books the other pile are books um, that are my own like books that I've chosen to read um, during the month and I'm going to be reading two books at once and then they will be replaced by one book from each of these piles as I read them. So first of all I will go through very quickly the review books that I've got. So I've got Eve of Man by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher, Suicide Club by Rachel Peng, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Now to the Party by Tracy Matthias, The Wonder of Us by Kim Colbertson, All These Beautiful Strangers by Elizabeth Fairforth, Always From Maybe by Anika and Rose Reese, Good and Gone by Megan Fraser Blakemore and then two ebooks I've got is Crossing the Line by Simone Elkles and Workshop Girl by Chloe Cole. So those will be the review books that I'm going to be selecting from. And then from my own personal books, I've got The Kissing Booth by Beth Recalls, which I'm currently reading. Then I've got I Learn the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins, which was the viewer's choice winner for the month of June. And then I've got City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, but I'll be reading this if I manage to read Clockwork Angel. And here is Clockwork Angel, which I am more than halfway through, so I'll be reading more of that in June. And then the other book is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sunday Menem, which you guys know I started last month as well, and I'm near the halfway mark, so I'll definitely be reading more of that. And then I've also picked Kittens in the Kitchen by Lucy Daniels, the first book that's in the Animal Arc series. It's really short, so it shouldn't take me long to read. And I've got Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, a nice summary read. And Operation Sunshine by Jenny Colgan, a summary chiclet book. A reread I've chosen is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And then I've got The Moment of Letting Go by J.A. Red Mersky. And finally, Who Had Me at Hello by Meharry McFarlane. So again, two of these piles, I just wanted to briefly share it with you and I will be reading. So let's say, for example, these are going to be the two. I finished this one, so then I'll pick another review book to replace it. I finished this one, I'll pick this one to replace it and so on and so forth. 
just so you understand like how my logic is going to work with this but all the same I'm really excited to do this so all I've got left to do today is to finish the smoke thieves by Sally green which will be really easy because I've literally got 60 pages of it left to read and I've got the rest of the day off to just sort of like chill out I'm still extremely tired so I'm going to try and get a bit of an early night if possible because I've got to be up super early because Tim is going to be here between 8 30 and 9 o'clock in the morning to sort the taps so I need to make sure I get some sleeping going on there um, so yeah that's all that's really gone on today. It's been a real big mash of a day and it sucks and honestly it really sucks because I don't like to call in sick and I don't like it to be registered as sick because I was just doing really well since living here like that whole month not calling in sick. I normally get ill really easily um, and have a day off every like three months. Um, so I was doing really well since living here because obviously the push of living here um, was what was keeping me along. Um, I didn't get paid very well today which I was kind of a bit upset with like £70 less than I usually get paid at least. So I don't know that's like two shifts gone missing somehow so I don't know what happened with that but part of me is feeling like I need to work a lot this month like at least the first half of the month just to get that away I've got my annual leave next week so I can't help that obviously but the week after I'm just gonna have to pick up some extra shifts somehow and work my ass off just to get today's sick day back and those two days that I've somehow missed and I really can't remember actually being ill in April because I was too busy moving so it's a bizarre thing but until I see my pace which I would have got today if I would have gone in work I can't really sort of see where the issue was but you know that's for the weekend to worry about so I'm going to leave you now just so that I can put these books away and get myself a nice cup of tea and just settle down and read and maybe get myself some dinner soon because it's nearly seven o'clock now. Um, it'd be good if I could hear from Ben soon. I know he did a night shift and he finished at eight and he got home around, I think nine, because um, that's around the time when he messaged me in the morning and he's been asleep ever since because obviously tired after a night shift. So it would be good to hear from him soon, um, just to hear his verdict from what happened to the doctors because I obviously let, let him know that that's what happened because Ben wanted me to go to the doctors. So yeah, that's it really um, and I will either speak to you guys this evening, let you know um, if I manage to finish the Smoke Thieves in time and I will also speak to you guys tomorrow morning to update you on anything as well and of any plans and so on and so forth but all in all guys I will say goodbye for now hey guys so today's Saturday and I've just come home from work like literally come home and today I've had a very very bad mental health day like literally it's just been it's been really rubbish like my mental health has been really poor i kind of broke down whilst at work today which i've never done before so obviously got like really on top of me um and i nearly nearly walked out on work i literally drove down the road went in a circle came back i got to work and i just i just broke down just broke down just so many things on my mind that have built up and then things would work and it just became completely out of hand and I feel really bad because it lasted like an hour um, before I was finally myself again um, yeah just feel really really bad for that feel bad for who was in charge feel bad for my home manager feel like I've just let everybody down and yeah it just, it just wasn't good um, I however came home, I've had amazing support from some of my colleagues who let me talk about it and um, so I've got some packages 
that I have come home to. So I've got two. So actually I'll unbox this one because I think I know what it is. It should be what it is. Yeah. So my <laughs> cream peroxide has come. I have some cream powder in the bathroom and they also provided some gloves to use as well. So the plan is to bleach my hair. Second plan is to dye my hair the colour. So I've got the colour ready and all I will say guys is I am not going to be blue anymore. It's going to be a different colour. So let's open this other package. It's just so that I can be done with these books. And it looks like this is the book that I've been waiting for. So it's an ex-library book, which is pretty funky. I don't really want the outside of it, so I'm just going to take that off. Because it used to be a library book. I don't think there's anything inside to associate it with a library, so that's quite handy. But this is another Dolphin Diaries book. I think it's the only one I'm waiting for, which is Chasing the Dream number five. So yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, I've got the whole Dolphin Diaries set now. So that's good, I can put that in my garage tomorrow before work. Um, I'm thinking of doing my hair tonight, now that I've got it, finally. So, you can see, because my roots are horrible and I feel like crap, so I might just give myself a quick... I don't know whether I want to like wash my hair first or just dye it, because they say on dry and washed hair, it does it better. So I might just bleach it and then colour it and then I can always like do something with it but I need to bleach it first so I'm gonna go get my t-shirt out I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna do it just gonna do it KE is gonna be a different colour from blue because look at these roots, they're horrible man they're really horrible and my hair's crappy from today so I apologise so I'm gonna go off now, I'm gonna find my hair dye t-shirt and then I'm gonna go do my hair because I think it's just gonna end up making me feel better it's kind of like near me sort of thing, sort of situation. Um, I'm in charge tomorrow. I am already shattered, so I think after I do my hair, I'm gonna go to bed um, and I'm just gonna, just gonna sleep. If I'm honest guys, just gonna sleep as much as I can. Just wanna go to bed and just forget about everything that has just gone on today. Um, it's just been, it's been really crap and like my mind was just in limbo earlier like when I just broke down like I didn't know what to do part of me wanted to go home part of me wanted to run away part of me wanted to drive somewhere and I'll be honest I had some really horrible thoughts as well so that's depression guys that's anxiety and depression and I hit it real bad so I'm hoping because I'm off next week I'm gonna need this week away to do something so it'd be good if I can get something done um, so yeah I'm gonna go off and do my hair and I'll see how I go from there um, because it might be that because I'm tired because I've been crying so much today I'm very tired so it might be that I just go to bed after I do my hair um, part of me really can't be bothered to do my hair I just have no motivation whatsoever today haven't really eaten a lot, in honesty. I had some lunch, which I ate really quickly, and then for dinner, I just I just wasn't hungry, so I've had a donut. Literally, just was the only thing I picked up, so I've had a donut. That's the truth I've had. So it's not even a meal. It's not even a proper meal. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do my hair. Um, so I'm sorry that this clip's really boring, and if I've let you guys down with this boring clip, but you should get to see into my life and the ups and downs of my life. Um, lately, I will be honest, there's more downs than ups. <sighs> Just, I don't know, the, the Katie, the fun Katie's not here. And it's a shame, it's a real shame. But let's hope doing my hair is going to help me be the new Katie again. The new and shiny better Katie, but... We'll see anyway. So I'll go for now and I will see you guys either later or tomorrow to update you on anything. I can show you my hair, maybe if I get it done like at a reasonable time. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys then and take care. Guys, 
I just had another package just my neighbour just held on to it for the day and it is the new Love Yourself Tear BTS album is released not long ago. This has come straight from Korea. I need to open it. I'm so excited. I've got to open it in front of you guys because this is the one good thing of my day today, which I needed. I really needed. I just look. I got here. What is this? What is this? What do I do? Does it pop up? Oh my god, I think so. it does as well. That is awesome. That is so awesome. <sighs> look, guys. Look. Let's come with it. That is so cool. Like, you can see it there. What else have I got? Some notes, which I cannot understand because I don't understand Korean. What else have I got? Oh, I've got a photo card. Oh my god. I've got a photo card of Rat Monster. It's Rat Monster. Oh my god. Rat Monster. Membership survey. What is all this? So the very CD is here, CD in all its glory, just want to check and make sure it's okay because it came all the way from Korea. Oh guys, 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 guys. Is there anything else like goodie boys is in here because... So this is like the picture photo album, oh my god they all look gorgeous. So happy. Uh, oh my god, guys. Look. Look at that. That is so. I used to love, like, just any Jungkook, which is this one here. Um, however, I mean, I still kind of have a soft spot for Jungkook, but now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to love them all. Yay! So what songs have we got guys? We need to look at the songs. We've got Fake Love on here. Fake Love! Oh, I'm so happy. Love Maze, Magic Shock, Airplane Part 2. I'm how man, so what outro Tia. Oh my goodness. Guys. Guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, this has just made my day. This really made my day so much. So, so much. So much. Oh, guys, seriously. I'm going to put this away. Let's put it away safely. Because I am so going to be playing that tomorrow morning. Because I'm obsessed with the song Fake Love. And yes, look, it's just gorgeous and. I'm so happy it's come and it hasn't taken too long to come because I feel like actually if I'm honest that Fake Love the video was only released last week, it doesn't feel that long ago, but guys look at this gorgeousness, in fact really if anything I can either use it as a stand or, or guys if I take this sticky bit off and cut it along here. I could use it as a bookmark. Right now I'm not sure. I'm gonna let them stay here by my bed so that I can look at them while they sleep and they'll calm me down and make me feel better. So anyway, I'm now gonna go on to do my hair. I was just looking for my dying clothes where they're like my old clothes and my neighbour run well so awesome. Um, so I'll go now to actually do my hair. Hey guys, it's Monday so I'm here to update you on the whole week and any reading that I managed to do on Sunday. So I didn't actually get any time Sunday to read. I was in charge and whenever I'm in charge it's very impossible to get any reading done um, at all. 
Um, however, I went to work with a new hair colour and the guys actually really enjoyed it. Um, even the staff just sort of said that they really, really enjoyed it um, and that they, they quite like it. Um, so, really I've not long been up. had a bit of a lay in today as it's Monday. Um, so, I'm feeling really good about today. Um, so, yes. Um, I received a text message yesterday from my brother, which I haven't had a message from him since beginning of April, so, so it's been like over a month. Um, and I don't know if you know previously, but I've mentioned that he's got Asperger's um, and autism. So he suffers in life with things like that and depression and, and everything. So his text message was quite a depressing one. Um, so I literally am just at a complete blank wall when it comes to my brother. I've tried to offer him help in the past and he's refused it. Um, he gets embarrassed very easily in public. So he won't ever be seen with me in public um, unless I had maybe natural hair or something because last time I went to see him I had blue hair and he was just like oh no you're just embarrassing me and I was just like no one's staring Russell so I couldn't really sort him out then and I tried to sort him out in a different way and it still he just still wouldn't get the help and I was just like Russell you've got the capacity to get your own help please can you just get the help um, and it's been so hard to try and get him some sort of mental help really because they were just like oh, without his consent we can't do anything I'm just like are you, are you seriously kidding me so it literally feels like if my brother hurts himself or someone else then they will do something it's so bad like he had a mental health team not too long ago he said they finally got hold of him and then they just dismissed him and I was just like are you kidding me and he told me that they were going to contact me um, and that they'll stay in contact with me he put me down as his next of kin as well and I have received no contact from this mental health team whatsoever which I think is so bad and unprofessional and it's just really irritated me I'm partially tempted to give them a call and just be like, seriously, what is going on? Like, really, what is going on? Like, my brother is clearly unwell. But you know what? And I said to my nan this morning, um, I was just like, if he ever hurts himself or somebody else or something, other bad thing happens, his mental health team will be involved. Um, and also... They're not going to hear the last of it from us because they could have prevented it from happening and you know we could even do the worst write to the papers expose them because the mental health team systems in the uk are just completely rubbish like why does it take so much to get some help especially for my brother who's a lot worse off than me i mean i suffer from depression and anxiety but he is worse he just sits at home and then he just his head spins and then because he struggles at life because he struggles to get jobs because of his autism and everything like that like it just frustrates him even more realistically from what i've gathered from my brother's messages he just wants to live a normal life he wants to settle down but because of his autism it's just it's kind of like stopping him which is like quite sad really um and horrible to sort of like to see um so i just i'm literally just i don't know what to do I really don't know what to do um so that happened yesterday i got the message yesterday but i only just replied this morning because i was in charge so i couldn't be on my phone yesterday to even message um, but yesterday at work it was a quite laid back day actually everybody felt relaxed which is good I could feel like there was no intensity at work it, it just felt very laid back like everyone was really happy um, so I went out for a drink with my workmates we just went for one drink after work 
Um, I just had a pint of coke, but you know, it was really nice to just have a nice cold drink. Um, and then just drove home. And I pretty much just got into bed. I just sort of, I did some washing, because I had um, some laundry washing. Um, and I opened the windows a bit. I just thought, let's air it out for 10 minutes, like whilst this, this washing's being done. Um, so I did all of that. And then I closed all the windows, closed the curtains, and I just settled down here. And not long after, it was about half eleven, I think I just dropped off asleep. I woke up again, really random time actually, it was like half five in the morning. I wasn't like remotely tired. So I went to the toilet, and then I opened a couple of windows, one in the bathroom and the one in the lounge, just to air the flat out because it was really stuffy last night. But the trouble is, if I leave the windows open at night, I get creepy crawlers coming in, and I don't want that happening. Um, so, yeah, I just did that last night and then I just dropped off, fell asleep, and then I went back into bed at half five, um, and then I woke up again at like half eight. So, I've had my sleep really. I'm still a little bit tired, but I feel like I might end up having a nap later. So, you'll find out um, my plans for today in my next week's weekly vlog. So, really, I'm just here to wrap up the week. So, really didn't get any books finished this week but you are all aware with my May wrap up which went up today actually um, that it was pants like I'm in the middle of four books and I didn't finish any of them but I've literally got like 30 pages left of the Smoke Thieves so that definitely will be done for next week's vlog so at least I'll have a book finished um, so yeah but it's a new month I'm officially on annual leave which is awesome so but I'm going to leave this vlog for you now guys, sorry it kind of ended in a little bit of a depressing note, but what can I say? So hopefully next week is going to be a lot better, hopefully I can hear back from my brother, because um, I sent him a message back today, just saying that I hope he's okay. So hopefully I can hear back from my brother, hopefully I can see Ben later, so many things that I hope for, but yes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's weekly reading vlog um, and if there's any videos that you would like to see me do then do let me know down below in the comments let me know what books you guys are currently reading because I always like to know what everybody's reading and keep smiling keep reading and be happy and I'll see all of you wonderful people in my next video bye